Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be going over Ubuntu 22.04 long-term support and what it looks like before it's officially released. Now, before we go any further, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and also give that notification bell a good old ring. Anyway, so this is what Ubuntu 22.04 looks like. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between this and Ubuntu 20.04 or 18.04 or any other versions of older Ubuntu. Well, it's quite simple. Uh, they've switched over to using GNOME 42. Now, if you are a Fedora Linux user, you will notice that this looks exactly the same to what you're currently used to because Fedora uses GNOME, 20, uh, GNOME 42. Uh, Fedora has been using GNOME 42 since the start of this month. Well, since, since the start of this month. No, it's been using it for a while. I stand corrected then. Oh, no. But with the release of 22.04 uh, or Jammy Jellyfish, as it's called by uh, Canonical, the uh, developers of Ubuntu, things have changed around. So we'll begin by looking at our file system. Now, these buttons here have definitely changed. The, the look here has changed, along with dark mode. Dark mode is now system wide. It's just things do look differently. Now, this isn't all in a virtual machine, obviously. I I am not using uh, VMware because I couldn't get this to launch in VMware, so I'm using VirtualBox in this instance. But that's for if you want to test it. That's a little bit of knowledge there for you. So looking at it here, dark mode is now system wide. So if we look, we'll just switch it back to light mode for the time being, just so I can show a couple things off. Now, with these color options, it changes how things look. It changes uh, the little like tabs on the files here. The Ubuntu software should have changed. It appears it hasn't done. That's perfectly fine because at the moment this is on. I am currently using the daily release version, so there are expected to be a few bugs. But what you see here should be what is officially released as everything has been put on a final freeze as of two days ago. So what is currently available is what will be released on uh, April 21st. So this is the final version at the moment. Nothing else should be done, nothing else should be released. This is, the, this is it. Now, let's assume you want to, you, you, you like the new version of Ubuntu and you want to move over to it and dual boot it. Now, you can't quite do that straight off, the, straight out of the bat because you used to be able to do it on older versions of Ubuntu, but with Ubuntu 22, you can't do that because of what they've done with the operating system. Previously, whenever you used another version of Ubuntu, it would have something called the OS Prober, which would look for other operating systems on the same drive. So, for instance, if you had Windows partitioned on half of it and you've got uh, Fedora on one on, on another partition, you want to just uh, section away 30 gigabytes worth of space for Ubuntu. When installing Ubuntu, it would show you what the partitions were and what other, uh, what other operating systems were on it. In this version, it doesn't do that by default. You have to change uh, the grub file. I'll show you how to do that here. So we want to open a terminal. Uh, it's given the usual yada, yada, yada. And we are going to Go to, we're going to do the following. We're going to go nano slash etsli slash default slash grub. And it's going to say it's unwritable because I need to give it the sudo. So it's going to be sudo double exclamation mark. And then we need to come down to this line here and type the following. Grub. Uh, disable. How if I can spell? Disable OS probe. Prober equals false. So what's that? What that's going to do is going to say, "Hey, look, I want you to probe for other OSs on this disk, so it doesn't accidentally write over others, and you can actually see what's there." So once that's done, we need to update the grub. So we need to do sudo update grub, and what this will do is it'll look for any other operating systems on the disk and just go, "Oh, I'll put and put it into the bootloader." Now, as we can see, it's just done. There's nothing here. This is just a clean 30 gig 
it was a virtual machine so nothing else should show up now we, we can go over a couple changes with the changing of ubuntu uh, to, or 22.04 we've, we've moved entirely over to fedora uh, 42 so things will have changed such as uh, the calendar for example this previously wasn't on let's just look at calendar here this is currently on gnome 41.2 so this has been updated this is something something similar to what you would see on fedora for example now i've noticed this whilst I, when i did the video on fedora installing it a, a while back uh, i'll try and put a card in the top right hand corner of the video here i just got to remember where i put it five minutes okay so that's what why i used to we've got rhythm box now this is yeah basic sound thing like for music and such um but yes the uh the icons have changed around you've got the jellyfish this isn't cursed it doesn't look as bad as the previous ones so if we uh, just want to change the background for example we have some more choices we have a nice simple jellyfish there we've got a like dark theme jellyfish a grayscale jellyfish as well as a that I, I don't know how to describe that one but for example like stuff like this has changed and something interesting that i have found these files here you couldn't previously move them away from here well now you can you can move them off away and just put them somewhere else now you may have noticed when dragging these around it's got squares it's actually allowing you to tile better so if you want to move it here move it there you just move them everywhere just move them all up it now has tiling which is realistically something that should have already have been there considering it's a well considering this is a very like basic basic feature that windows has had for a long long time and should have already been here i know other i know other linux operating systems have it so why it took this long to get here i don't know that the reason why that's not working is because I said keep stacked by type. Like things like this, like basic features that should have been included already, have only just been included, which is a shame considering you know the ba the basic features that should have been there. So let's look at uh, what's installed on Ubuntu. So to do that, well, let's uh, download uh, NeoFetch. So let's do sudo uh, apps install NeoFetch. I've got a hope of. I was, I was thinking to myself. I hope of. I hope I've got that correct because I don't use Ubuntu or Debian often, so I've got to uh, try and think what the install commands were. So I'll wait for that. I'm gonna have a quick drink of water. But the main changes of Ubuntu at this point is moving over to uh various other things i do know they have updated to using new versions of php ruby python all that sort of stuff so just generally updating the back end of how everything works uh there have been no more features added since the 24th of february uh the user interface was frozen on march 17th so nothing new was added there and the beta freeze was uh put on march 28th so as of the current date on april 16th this is the final version that will be released. Like the release Canada is now. I'm just currently using the daily update version, which was released at 8 a.m. this morning. 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time. But once it's done, we just want to do NeoFetch and just to see the packages. So as we can see here, we're using Gemma Jellyfish. I don't like how it doesn't do that. We're using Jammy Jellyfish Development Branch, uh, x86-64, so most modern CPU. Uh, the host is VirtualBox, that's correct. We're, we're now over to kernel 5.15. This is the current safe kernel that uh, most operating systems are using, so that is good. Like It's moving over to new things. It's just generally modernizing itself in the process. As we can see here, it's using GNOME uh, 42 as a desktop environment. Window manager is still Mutter. Uh, icon theme and packs is uh, Yaru at this, at this point. And terminal is GNOME terminal. And it's been GNOME terminal for forever and a day, so it's nothing new there. Uh, as we can see here, it's using one, not even one whole gigabyte worth of data for its RAM. 
so that's pretty damn good now bearing in mind i'm using a virtual machine so it may be a bit different so if we do htop correction system resources system monitor even because i'm used to just htop let's actually show us what's going on in the background and as we can see here there is absolutely barely anything being used and if you want a more granular view we just do htop i did not have a htop installed but of course with ubuntu it's just lightweight it's no bother at all and we could just see it's using barely anything at all it's using not even a whole gig worth of data well just the whole gigabytes worth of data should i say but yeah it's it's basically it's just updating itself it's updating the back end and it's becoming more modern looking it's the one close the terminal so all it's doing is just becoming a modern version of ubuntu not really much has changed it's just catching up with other operating systems as well like basic features like moving files around that's now tiling and you can actually just stick you can move them out of home which is it's good to have it all in one place but at the same time if you want to try and get two documents from the desk or if you want to try and get documents through the command line you've got to do uh, cd uh, documents from there we go uh, i just need to cd desktop cd documents so it does add a um small it just adds an extra tip but that's real that's really nothing at all but yeah this is all ubuntu is now it's just updated it looks nicer it works nicer you've got multiple desktops now to work with that are independent that can be independent of each other but also the same they can be like the same work environment ow i dropped my phone but yeah, you've got your transmission which is just your it's your built-in torrent software that's nothing new there you've got your start disk creator startup applications software updater and software updates is now in two separate things and they've gone out of the way to make it look different as we can see here we've got the movement moving across i'll actually show you what's there which i i really i like a little bit it looks all right uh, the utilities on older versions of 22 point on older versions of ubuntu 22 uh, this wasn't a folder they've now added this in as a section so they've updated this they've changed this around uh, the videos i were watching didn't have this i of course i'm now looking at the frozen version so this has this is what you will get and uh, they've also changed the screenshot tool it's now called cheese and if it doesn't want to die oh no hang on that's not the screenshot tool that's the camera tool i don't currently have a camera plugged in uh so we want to do take a screenshot so things have changed we now have a selection grid looks nicer we can just select select sections of this we can go screen we can go windows uh, we can have a like screen recording of a certain area and we can also have it so it shows the point of so for example let's just move this kind of go selection just move the selection box to so it's just over the screenshot tool now what i like about this is it doesn't capture the screenshot tool in the screenshot i don't know why that took sounded like i took multiples i don't know why they saw the need to add the sound for it it doesn't really make sense but in general a lot of things have been updated to the current version of gnome as we can see gnome 42 is the latest version uh for the files uh everything everything should be getting updated uh from what i can tell the ubuntu software not changing appears to be with the theme of the operating system appears to be a bug i do know that when i was trying to install this it was it was having some issues when changing resolution now that could just be down to the fact i was just asking the operating system to change resolution in the installer and it didn't really like that that i could understand uh, so then for the uh, Ubuntu software suite, it's just the general look at as it's been for quite a while now. It's really nothing new. Uh, they've just got that, just what it looks like now. Nothing really new. As we can see here, this looks different. Didn't used to previously look like that. I'm going to guess it's uh, a GNOME change. A lot of these changes you will see are just down to GNOME, and that is all it is. So you will have to get used to how it looks and 
working with it. So we're just going to go over to dark theme and just change it to purple. The Ubuntu shopping basket should have changed, but it hasn't done. And as we can see here, for some reason, when we changed. Ah, so that is something I didn't realize you could do. I didn't realize that was a th feature. When you change your dark theme, it changes back to the default uh, screensaver, more de default desktop background. So you can then change it again. So for example, let's go for this one. And let's assume we just want to go back to light theme. We have the uh, dark pet, uh, dark jelly, uh, jellyfish, and now we have the light jellyfish in dark theme. That's not a uh, feature that I realized was uh, available previously. Well, now you know, we discovered something new. And as we can see, I changed it to purple. It's now purple when selecting it, and also the like tab thing on the file is purple as well. So things have changed. Most of it is just cosmetics and just in the background sort of stuff but realistically uh there's nothing new you might want uh, ubuntu are trying to push this ubuntu pro thing where if you pay for like a certain amount a month you can get access to like security updates for millions hundreds of thousands of packages i think it was it's it's just a way of canonical trying to make more money it's just geared at the like enterprise customers hey look pay 25 bucks a month and you get guaranteed security updates for these packages like yeah okay the tens of thousands of packages that i probably won't ever use but sure i'll pay money for that so there we go that is ubuntu 24.02 or 24.04 long-term support uh, as at the current moment it is not officially released this is only the daily update version but the release candidate will be coming out soon well the release version will be coming out soon uh, it'll be coming out on the april 21st this month well this year so expect uh, some a lot of videos to come out fr from that but anyway i'd like to thank you very much for watching uh, if you're not already f uh, subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like and notification bell. I'd like to thank my patrons, Raining Hazmat, and ask you for being subscribed over a Patreon. For a little as dollar a month, you can get early access to videos. And as such, I will be bringing more content to there soon. Anyway, I'd like, to thank you very much, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I've been Nick. You've been amazing. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.